how do you build a solar site that's good for sheep? And it's a pretty simple answer. You just build a good solar site. My name is Brock Phillips. I'm the director of livestock services for Carolina Solar. So when, when we first started out, it was a flock of maybe 35 ewes. And those ewes would stay on one site like this one for a couple months until they ate it down. And we had some health issues with the sheep. They would go back and eat the grass that they liked best. And so I would set that grass back, the weeds would keep growing, and it just, it didn't work. Um, so what we determined is that we needed to scale up to be able to address those sites. Um, and so for us, it, it allows a single person and a dog to manage those sheep. So with some times where there's a little bit more labor, this is my full-time job along with the border collie who seems to be hanging out in the truck. And we're able to catch move and shift sheep um, and so we right now have a flock of about 500 sheep the lambs we raise off the farm but it gives us that diverse revenue stream of it's still a livestock operation and tractors and lawnmowers can't breed but sheep can so in the off season the sheep will be bred they'll have lambs those lambs will go into meat or be sold at auction while the ewes are on site grazing essentially getting paid to eat grass and it's, it's not as simple as just putting sheep out on the grass, but with that more intensive management, you turn what would be a liability and what is pasture rental and having to feed those animals into an asset that your animal has to actually consume grass. And there's a need for that service on these sites. And so it's, as a service, it, it needs to be approached professionally and with that planning, but it's not any different than farmers who manage their pastures well know where their animals are going to be and kind of monitor their, monitor their feed supplies over the course of a year. It just expands that land base and also I think allows them to um, have more opportunities because you're no longer constrained by your home farm, but with the growth of solar, it's, it's the perfect environment. Sheep don't drink a whole lot of water. They're shade on 50% almost of the pasture, so you don't have that lone tree in the middle of the pasture that all the animals are congregated upon, underneath and then the rest of the pastures don't get grazed. So it's, um, it's a process that takes some learning and there's some great resources. There's the American Solar Grazing Association based out of New York um, and they're trying to bring together both develop, I say both, all the kind of stakeholders, developers, um, asset managers, farmers, and put them all together in the same room to see what that looks like for sites. And people always ask, how do you build a solar site that's good for sheep? And it's a pretty simple answer. You just build a good solar site. And so any solar site here in the southeast, if it's two inches off the ground, it's going to be covered in grass in a couple of days of the summer. So having that clearance um, that gives you a buffer in terms of performance. Uh, additionally, just good wire management underneath those panels. Um, it's the same thing. A guy with a string trimmer runs just as much risk of grabbing a wire as a sheep walking under it. And so to this day, we've never had any issues with sheep damaging equipment. Um, it's just good, it's on those sites that if it's easy to mow, it's easy to put sheep on. And it's just kind of a turnkey solution putting sheep on. Making sure the perimeter fence is good, you've got good predator control, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. And I think that a move towards that opens up a world of possibilities for livestock grazing to be integrated. And I think also making solar a little more accepted.